फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट विद हिज एनोरमस स्ट्रेंथ द बिब्लिकल करेक्टर सैमसन डिस्ट्रॉयड द टेम्पल ऑफ डेगोन इन गाजा किलिंग हिज फिलिस्तीन कैप्टर्स एंड हिमसेल्फ प्राइम मिनिस्टर इमरान खान मच लाइक सैमसन appears determined to bring down the house of pakistan dominated until now by the army imran is refusing to follow his many civilian predecessors who quietly left when shown the door by the army in pakistan civilian leaders who have defied the army found themselves in prison executed or exiled imran has made bold to take on the army test the boundaries of the national ideology that rawal pindi claims to protect and challenge the deep state by mobilizing the street in brazenly refusing to let the national assembly vote upon the no confidence vote brought against him and getting the president to dissolve the assembly imran is not only looking the army in the eye but also the constitution and the supreme court his defiance will certainly be put down for now but he has promised the establishment that he will pose a bigger threat when he is out of power khan is prepared to take his chances much like samson and play to his many strengths he remains a national hero having won the cricket world cup in 1992 he enjoys considerable political following and has an ego larger than life khan has qualities that his predecessors lacked except zulfikar ali bhutto whose charisma moved the pakistani masses in the early 1970s he is deeply aware of bhutto's defiance which ended with execution in 1979 he now invokes bhutto's name and the dangers he faces from the system that he has challenged imran's narrative that he is a self made man is only partly true and does not square with the fact that he was selected by the army as prime minister in the 2018 elections the army went only undermined the two civilian governments that came to power with popular mandates after general parvez musharraf's reign ended in 2008 one led by asif ali zardari of the pakistan people's party and the other by nawaz sharif of the pakistan muslim league the army was wary of both zardari and nawaz who wanted to break from the army's policy of supporting militant jihadi groups as well as improve trade and political ties with india the army hoped that khan would provide a handsome and modern face for the army rule and help destroy older political formations but khan had his own ideas for pakistan's future and generated a new set of problems for the army in the past the army chiefs were the ones who betrayed the civilian pms who appointed them jial haq turned against zulfikar ali bhutto and musharraf ousted nawaz sharif this time it is imran khan who is betraying the army that ensured that his opponents were defeated in the 2018 elections and stitched a majority in his favor in the national assembly khan can claim credit for being the first pm to boldly subvert the constitution until now that was a privilege of the army he also surprised the army leadership by playing politics with the appointment of the isi chief last october when army chief kamar javed bajwa sought to move lieutenant general faiz ahmed from the isi last year khan resisted the transfer and made it an issue 
although he had to concede eventually it became quite apparent that the pm and army chief were no longer on the same page to make matters worse khan has been incompetent in governing pakistan has deepened pakistan's economic crisis sharpened internal conflicts and worsened its international relations stop